Good evening, everyone. Uh, it's been a while since we've added our YouTube. Uh, so I was going to add something that's uh, been pretty hot recently, and that's with halftone. So I've got a couple Halloween prints that I want to do, and I've already knocked the black out. I've done all the work in Photoshop. That's going to be in another video. Look at me. Link is either going to be here, or right there, or right here, or right there. I don't know. So uh, they're already set up. I already got a resize. Uh, normally, I would use the big machine, which is uh, right here. But honestly, uh, I love showing my little printer love. All right, this was this is our day one, our day one printer right over here. All right, she took care of us. They're thick and thin. Uh, I say all printers, they serve a great purpose. So for me, if you've got them, you might as well use them. And if it's making money, then uh, there's really no problem. So let me get into what I've got right now. Um, with the system that we're using, it's Accurate, Accurate 10.3. I've already resized everything, and I've got it on the screen. You guys will just want to follow along with me and show you what I got going on. All right, so you can see with the settings, I've already got our own preview. That's with color, that's what it's going to look like knocked out. That right there, that is technically what is going to be put on for white backing. Uh, I've got uh, my one pixel all the way around for choke. Got our layout. We're doing a 1440 by 1440 white, 1440 by 1440 color. All right, everything else is pretty standard. I'm doing white under any colored pixel because I've already got the half tone set up in Photoshop. All right, or I could have easily did this. Remove black, but uh, that's great and all, but I prefer to do it in Photoshop. All right, so now all I gotta do is go through my settings. I like to add that and click these two. And I click print. And as it's processing, it's telling the printer what to do, which is basically what a RIP is. It's a raster program. Okay, once it's processing, it's going to print. I'm just going to show a little bit of the printing. And when I'm done, I'm going to lay out the transfers, show what they look like. Uh, I'm going to cut out some uh, cloth that we have. We have a lot of black cloth, so that way we're not wasting on shirts. I just cut them out, treat them like a garment, pre-press, press the transfer on, and then that's it. And I don't have to waste a shirt. All right? That's a good tip for everybody. And uh, it's just tablecloths. All right, so uh, no sense in you seeing all this processing time. It does take a while, but trust me, it's worth the wait. All right, so as you can see right now, it is printing, and uh, we are saving a lot of ink. All right, the color has gone down, and then the white. So uh, this will take a while because I put it on 1440, 1440. But if I put it on 720, it probably would have been a third of the time. But that's okay. Okay. So I want to show you guys something. This is it. This is the finished product. Okay. I let it dry when I'm doing these manually. Uh, I give them about uh, three minutes. And then I apply the powder. 
and then I cook them. Uh, some people actually leave them around to cure a lot longer. But this is normally what I do for like a really small job. Or uh, I'm just doing something for myself. And that's pretty much what the uh, the uh, small printer is relegated to. Uh, our big printer does all the heavy lifting. So I'll powder, cook it, and then I'm going to do a couple more. And then we'll do some pressings to see what they look like. And I may do the originals too. Uh, it all depends. Uh, you know. But it's all about saving ink. Okay. Okay, wouldn't you know it, my microphone died while recording this. So I'm just going to do a uh, voiceover. So basically, I've got the uh, press. The press is already at uh, 325. And what I'm doing is I have these pre-cut table cloths black pretty pretty close to cotton and then i've got uh one of the three prints that i made uh for half tone i'm just going to set them aside i am going to pre-press them just like they were a garment i'm going to roll it off take off the lint uh, pre-presses they vary i like to do mine for like uh seven seconds sometimes 12. this is a really good fabric so you see i've got it all nice and pressed all the moisture is out next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go get the first print you can see i'm describing the knockout. About 99% of the black is out. Uh, on some of the art, when I tried to adjust, I just couldn't get everything. So I'm just aligning it for myself. And watch out uh, with that. Uh, it's a 1620 heat press clam, and it is hot. So uh, once again, my temperature is 325. I press hot peel for 12 seconds, and here I am just waiting. Maybe I was shooting a fly, I couldn't tell. Okay, there you go. So, uh, for production, since it is hot peel, I like to just let it cool off. I set it off to the side. Then I'm going to grab the next one. And I'm going to repeat the process. Take off the lint. Do a pre-press. And I think this one I did probably like 10 seconds. And here I'm, I was probably thinking like uh, what I was going to have for a snack. Okay, I'm grabbing the next uh, half tone knockout. And that is our favorite Beetlejuice. Try saying that three times, right? I'm getting it all lined up. And I'm pretty satisfied with what I've got. I'm hitting the press. 12 seconds. Meanwhile, the other print is uh, cooling off. I could have I could have peeled it off, but uh, sometimes they say it's better to be safe than sorry. A lot of people would like uh, they think hot peel, just peel it right off. But I like to play it safe. Okay, that one's done. I'm putting it off to the side. Uh, the next one I decided to do for my wife, and she wanted a shirt. So see, we've got our favorite villain, Freddy Krueger. And this is from the other video where I did the halftone knockout on Photoshop. And I will uh, have that show up at the 
end of the video as a little thumbnail. So now I'm going to go get the shirt. Our favorite Gildan. All right. And we carry uh, Next Level, Bella Canvas, Pro Club, Double uh, A, Champion, Jersey. So I am taking off all the little lint, smoothing it out. Trying to just line it up the best I can. And in a little bit, I'm going to go grab my uh, handy dandy t shirt guide that we got from Amazon. And here I am trying to realign it. I try not to press the, uh, the neck. Because I find that uh, it kind of shows up on the other side. It's that uh, scorch mark. So I'm taking out the moisture from the shirt. And I'm sure uh, my wife is asking me something. She probably went, uh, went off camera. Okay, I got the thumbs up. Everything looks good. I'm taking the shirt down. Here's our handy dandy guide. That is so helpful. Can't go wrong. Uh, it'll even uh, help you out with pockets. It does the front, the back. It, it does uh, sizes small to even 2X. And uh, I still double check sometimes. I still do my three fingers. And sometimes uh, for the bigger shirts, I'll do four. So I've got the half tone art. I'm just lining it up. Just like this was going to go to a customer. I'm trying to find the center. See, I've got my fingers. I'm just checking the uh, height below the uh, neckline. Still double checking. You know, I don't want it to be uh, too high or too low for my wife. Okay, so I am removing the guide. I'm not using any heat tape. Uh, it's just with experience. Yeah, if you notice, I didn't use any Teflon or parchment paper. I just went right with the transfer. And that's still totally up to you. Uh, I've seen a lot of video where people have used various things, even the T-seal. So it's totally up to you. All right, so... I'm removing it from the press and putting it off to the side. I'm just going to let that cool off. I found a nice spot. Okay, so now I'm going to the prints. So that was our first print. And I'm going to show you how easy it was to peel. Look at that. No hesitation, just take it right off. Bam. And then I like to look at the residue, the leftover. So it's not bad. I'm going to say like about 99% of it went on to the uh, cloth. So you see, there's a close up. You see, the uh, knockout of the black really helped. Uh, whatever whatever was true black in the art came through with the garment. Really nice. If that was on a shirt, I'm telling you, 
that would be a conversation starter. Look at that. It's so soft. It's not rubbery. Good texture. Now, of course, what I'm still going to do is I'm going to give it a second press. Most people don't do that, but I like to. Just to lock it in. But each person does it differently. Okay, I'm putting that one right there. I'm going to set it aside to cool off. Now I'm going to grab the second one, Beetlejuice. I did say that one time. Peeling with confidence. Look at that. No hesitation. Awesome. All right, I'm showing you this one. Same thing. Hardly any leftover. And there he is. We used the black garment to fill in the art. Half tone is amazing. Okay, I'm hitting it with a post press. Looking good. Putting that one aside. Last but not least, the t shirt. Now, for the video, I put them back on the press just because uh, I didn't want to move a bunch of stuff around. So, here we go with the peel. That's it. So uh, I would have took off the uh, shirt to show in front of the camera, but I was gonna I was gonna have to uh, post press anyways. So I decided I'd just leave it on there. I'm just adjusting it. Same thing. Make sure I don't get that scorch mark on the neck. Nice post press. Kind of lock in lock in that art into the fibers. It was hot. Okay, so you can see that's pretty good. Soft feel. Not too bad. Now, I could have made it a lot bigger, uh, but this is just for test purposes. I could always resize it in the rip. I'm really happy with the outcome and uh, half toning. I have to tell you, is an art. You, you have to be very patient and figure out uh, in the bitmap part, in the grayscale, how much white, how much black. But overall, we're really happy with it. All right, so I just want to say uh, stay tuned. Uh, follow along on our page in Grand Sos Designs on our YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram.